100. That is the percent of Atlanta Falcons football players who now have received the COVID-19 vaccine. This is the first NFL team to be fully vaccinated before the regular season begins. That is certainly a nice number oh, to yeah. look at there. Uh, and Dr. Jen, we have been talking over the last several days, but today specifically about those booster shots. Who will be eligible for them? When they'll be eligible? And we're waiting on some official word any day now. Yeah, and this has been evolving for the last couple of weeks, and we've watched other countries recommend a third or additional dose or booster shot. We are expecting the Biden administration to officially recommend that all Americans get a third dose or a booster dose eight months after their second dose. We expect word on that anytime this week or possibly next week. The rollout could begin mid-September, late September, of course. That is all contingent on the FDA authorizing this recommendation, but apparently they've been tracking the data. Other countries have made this decision, and so we're expecting it here any day now. Yeah, I was doing the math. That's, That's right. Late October for <laughs> yes, me. Yes, all exactly. right. Um, okay, all eyes are on kids back to school. We see those COVID rates going up in yep. children, but we're also learning about transmission rates among different age groups. Right, and file this one under, we have to look at different populations differently where this virus is concerned. And so this is a latest study published in JAMA Pediatrics, a study done in Canada, and they looked at what the risk was of transmitting COVID-19 in a household when one child was positive. They found that in most cases, the chain of transmission really stopped with that one infected child. That's good news, um, but they also found an age difference. Toddlers under three years of age, much more likely to be linked with additional spread inside the house. Chances of spreading in a household were 40% higher when the infected child was less than three years old. So it's unclear whether that's behavioral because obviously that child would require closer contact from an adult caregiver or does the virus actually behave differently in different ages? It may be a little of both, but again, we're learning more about how it spreads in pediatric population. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.